that's again some industry sh- like Ebro, before you ever point the finger at me, nigga, you need to answer why you putting these songs in your playlist. Why you why are you over here talking about what I'm doing? And I don't care if you didn't make the place you in charge of it. When I'm the boss, I try to let somebody run my Instagram for two days. They fucked up. I had to get them off, get them out of there. You know why? Because I care about it too much. You fuck it up. That, like, niggas think that's me. Yeah, nah, get out of here. I can't. Uh, I got to do it myself. I got to do it myself. So when you the boss over there, you're the boss. Ebro is the boss of hip hop at Apple Music. The boss. Look him up. Google it. Global head of hip hop. Ebro, Ebro Darden. You talking about shit? Shit, people shovel through, nigga. You got money back, yo, on your shit. Like, look at the artists you got on. You got the baby. You got Dirk. You got all the niggas who be into it, nigga. You got everybody who, nigga. You got King Von on your playlist, nigga. King Von. I love all these artists, so I ain't gonna talk negative of them. But imagine a nigga. Yeah, I fuck with Von. I'm gonna cover the fuck out of Vaughn because Vaughn like a lot of my base, they fuck with where Vaughn's from, this and third. Don't just try to act like it's me, nigga. You doing it too. Now you could now, now the, the next sucker thing that you know he could do be like, oh no, we just follow the blocks. No, you don't. You follow the labels, bruh. Streaming services ran by labels. That's facts. Streaming services ran by labels. So don't if you can't call your boss out, don't call out somebody that don't work for you. I don't work for you, Ebro. But I'm looking at your playlist and it got every nigga who we would say, Freddie Gibbs, that nigga trash. Nigga got hurt because I told him I'm richer than him and his whole family. That nigga been tight ever since. Still richer than him. Fuck it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, get that bum ass nigga out of here, man. Who else? Nigga. You know how Ebro's mad? Ebro has watched hip hop turn into everything I've always reported on. Who was the first one reporting on Migos in 2014? Where they went, what they did, everything that they was doing in the culture. Who did that? Me, nigga. So if it's an artist I've shoveled through, Migos one of them too, because they could have been a one hit wonder. But they start getting into it with Keith. They start being like on some hood shit. I start covering them. I'm looking at your playlist thing. You got like five songs from them, bro. Who's covering Youngboy when Youngboy just got out? I say, yo, this thing is... Before he made a song, this thing was in a whole shootout. A drive-by. So you told my artist I helped shovel through. He's on your playlist. I ain't saying take him off. Don't do that. That would be a bitch nigga move. But stop acting like you ain't got no goddamn culpability and all this shit when you try to, everybody try to play holy. Why everybody try to play holy? And Peter Rosenberg, you trash, nigga. Like, yo, nigga, ain't you in sports? Get over there. Like, yeah, everybody try to single a nigga out. <laughs> but- they try to single a nigga. You know what happened? Let me tell you this. 2016 to 2017, all these niggas was hot. When I mean hot, these niggas were mad. They're mad that all they had to talk about was Uzi, Yachty, XXXTentacion, 6 9 They had to talk about niggas that were dominating the culture, maybe just socially or just socially and musically, but they had no stake in creating those artists. The problem here ain't what Ebro trying to say about me. Y'all niggas need to stop being dick riders. Ebro, your playlist shouldn't be what academics should be listening to. Your playlist should be what you think is hip hop, nigga. I got a Cloud Tokens playlist. I play, I only put on, you think Freddie Gibbs on my playlist? Nigga, I throw somebody out of a moving car playing that bullshit on my aux, nigga. That bum ass nigga, I wouldn't have that nigga on my playlist, period. That's what I'm trying to say. These niggas in hip hop these days, they're mad at me because. Their now reality of hip hop is turned into what Act has always covered. Oh, I've oh, I've I've covered. Yeah, I used to cover uh, uh Ed Lee Chopper and his shit with, with, with Young Boy. Who's on y'all play? I'm telling you, listen to these artists. Tell me any art. The only nigga who got, I can say is Freddie Gibson. Keep that nigga. <laughs> Keep that nigga. Okay, <laughs> that nigga's trash. Lil Durk. They got a lot of covering Lil Durk. Lil Durk, Young Thug. Remember when I was calling Thugger Thugger motherfucker? 
He was blowing niggas kisses, calling niggas bae. Nobody was kidding like that. I'm I'm reading from y'all playlist. Y'all mad at me because y'all realize y'all ain't y'all ain't done nothing for the culture, nigga. The artists that y'all liked and y'all claimed that y'all was trying to keep it pure, y'all didn't put them on. Y'all playlist look like my playlist. How the fuck that look like that, Ebro? How your play Nav ain't in my place, so you fucking stupid nigga. I didn't even put that lemonade song in there. I told 10K and I fuck with them. Y'all gotta give me they sent me the, the, the Navalis version. We gotta get that nigga out of here. We don't want that. <laughs> Hear what I'm saying though. Ebro, your issue when you start saying shit like that, you have way more power than me. But you don't use it. And you hide behind it. I don't hide behind mine. Your playlist looks like shit I listen to. What happened to all the shit that... Yo, nigga, you bro... You bro... Yo, you know the funny thing about Ebro too? Nigga, you bro Uzi up there. You try to play him for a freestyle. That's why he don't do press like that. You try to play him. He told you he don't rap like that. You got young boy all over your playlist. You think you could get young boy to come up to your station and freestyle? You think young boy would do that? You, you think you would do that? Must be out of your fucking mind. Y'all niggas mad at me because hip hop changed. It's not my fault. Y'all niggas start ex accepting acknowledgement for what y'all either did, neglected, or didn't stand by y'all word. Y'all was all not rocking with the newer rappers and the newer styles. It was all about can you freestyle, can you freestyle. That was Ebro was on back in 2016. That's why, that's why, uh, 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 um, um, that's why Uzi feel that way. Everybody on the play on the biggest playlist on your platform, none of them could freestyle. Nigga, you wouldn't dare invite no uh, uh, um King Von up there and told my freestyle. That nigga might clap the whole building. Stop playing. You know you're not doing that. How that act for? That's the fault of you. You never stood by your principles. If your principles was trying to make hip hop pure and hip hop this, nigga, make sure everything you do supports that. You got the power. You got more power than me. That's why I keep trying to tell niggas. You run playlists that's way bigger than what I could do. Apple Music is Apple. Academics cannot compete with Apple. Why are you not doing that? You don't got the boss to? Because you getting a paycheck? You scared? That's the difference to me and y'all. Because I stand on my principles on any platform I'm on. Get me off of there. Get me off of there. If if, if it can't align with some of the shit I'm with, get me off of there. I ain't gonna do it for the check, but some of y'all y'all doing it for the check. Y'all doing it for the check, y'all unhappy. So y'all looking for who y'all could blame. So you're blaming me because y'all thinking I'm the one who got it there. No, nigga, you can make the change. I guarantee you right now. If the top 15 slots in Rap Caviar was people who were just super lyrical, super lyrical music is in right now. But they won't do it. So this one nigga, Carl Cherry, that's not even stand. So like, you know, I wouldn't even put him in that position. But let's talk about what Ebro doing at Apple. Ebro got more power than Carl Cherry. That nigga Ebro won't do shit. How you gonna be so loud with your chest, but you not down to stand for the fight? I see him tweeting all about the election, all about Black Lives Matter. That shit don't mean nothing if you ain't down to get on the front lines and stand in front of the cops while guns is in your face. That shit don't matter, dog. And I hate to bring this power, but that's how it means in music, bruh. You saying all type of this, all type of that? Nigga, you never stood on it. You never stood on it. When you had a chance to stand on it, when niggas say, why you don't play this and why you ain't play that, you folded. You said, I got to report to a board. They want to see stats. You know, you should have said, fuck a stat. This is what hip hop needs. You never did that. Griselda would be all over that. It would be Conway, Benny the Butcher. <laughs> but it ain't, it ain't like that. So what was happening, and that's why I'm sad, like, y'all don't got no problem with Ebro, but but it looked weird when he did that because, Ebro, you know, I've been, I even tried to get into it with you recently. Bro, you got mad power in this hip-hop game, bro. I don't, I don't want any problems with you. You have, nigga, I, I, Ebro, I'm going to be honest with you. 
I've told Six Nine for the last eight months. I said, apologize to Ebro. Facts. I said he's too powerful. I said you made a song telling that nigga to suck your dick. That is not the wave. You should not threaten ever media people and especially someone of high power like Ebro. Apologize. Trust. I told him that yesterday, nigga. Yesterday I was on the phone. I said oh, apologize to him. So I'm not here trying to. I'm just trying to say to Ebro like. We could have that conversation. What you tweeted, I want to have the conversation, but you don't want to have it. You don't want to have it with me. You just want to tweet something out for a couple of retweets. Like, you, like yo, you like twice my age. Like, you can't be looking for, like, retweet clout. I'm down to wherever you at. I'll come up to Hot 97. I remember when I was trying to, like, talk to a bunch of y'all up there. Y'all wasn't with it, but I'll come up there now. Let's have that conversation because that's going to be progressive for the culture. I'm tired of y'all niggas trying to blame me for some shit that y'all are also complicit in. You can't be complicit in pushing artists that I cover and I love. I love all these artists. Every artist in your place I love. Nigga, you got a little baby all over that shit. Now you might not have a problem with him. But also, not only you got young boy over this shit. Nigga, you would be one of the main niggas who bitching and crying about, oh, young boy ain't he ain't lyrical enough. Oh, he just he just he's he's influencing the youth wrong. But you got him all over the playlist, bruh. Migos all over the playlist. Who else? Juice Roll, one of them niggas I also covered. All over the playlist. Maybe it's because he passed away. God rest Juice Roll soul. Your playlist don't got no lyricists on it. This is a fact. What are we talking about Freddie Gibbs? That nigga garbage. Bum ass nigga just rapping just to rap. And Freddie, when you see this thing, I'm not about to go back and forth with you on Instagram, nigga. You a trash nigga, bro. Facts. You heard me, I said it. Nigga, I sunned you one time, you was on my dick for like eight months. And then when something happened because of Chrissy Teigen and them, whatever, you try to act like you did something. You ain't did nothing, nigga. Facts. Boy, you made more money off selling a shirt with my face on it than you made off selling your album. That's facts. I ain't got to talk about that no more. I sunned you when I told you about the crib. Sunned you, nigga. I sunned you and your whole family. Don't ever do that, do that again. All right? The conversation changed. You've been talking about jokes and memes ever since. You didn't want to talk facts with me. Okay? So when this get back to you, and I know they got probably mad stitches in here. When they get this shit right back to you, nigga, just remember you remember for what it was. I stopped responding to your lame ass because it was you and five other niggas. Meek started jumping in, just started saying anything. Before, before I answered to Meek because it's Meek Mill. You're Freddie fucking Gibbs, my nigga. Like, yo, yo, name me three Freddie Gibbs songs right now. I give yo Tosa, I promise you, I give you a thousand dollars on live. Don't no Google. Three Freddie Gibbs songs. I was about to pull up that. No. Three Freddie Gibbs songs, I give you a thousand dollars. And if I don't do it, y'all ban me from I ban from everything, every public platform. I wish, but I can't even give you the name. Can't, man. <laughs> that nigga was talking about relevancy and shit like that. Yo, Freddie, shut the fuck up, nigga. You a little you a Twitter nigga who who like has seen cool by like them older niggas. It was revenge. It was revenge of the old niggas when when, when they finally thought it was they was getting at me. But I was just the shit bubbled up. You know, unfortunately, like you know, my platform doesn't only just talk to like bums like like Freddie. So you know, people was like, "Oh no, he's, he's talked about like you know what I mean he called uh so and so or whatever, whatever." So you know, what I mean, I had to chill. So, I, but like that bum ass thing, I violated him already. Like the nigga. The nigga was talking about, oh, the, the little room you, you, you're streaming in, you can fit my room in. Boy, I could fit you and your whole family. I, extended family in my basement. That's a fact. Boy, I ain't saying nothing about that yet. And Freddie, you like 40. You got a receding hairline. You bald. You had a rape case in like Ukraine or some shit, nigga. They said like, they say you had a whack performance. Ain't no bitches was fucking with you. You took some chicken, tried to finesse her. Get the fuck on out of here. Stop playing with me. You, you realize I ain't holding nothing back, huh? You had a rape case that I had to defend your stupid ass for on YouTube. You know why? Because it, it just looks so lame. You luckily beat that shit, nigga. You probably paid some money for that shit. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. You made more money off selling a shirt with my face on it than you actually made from your fucking album. Stop it. I defended that nigga, man. Nigga got in his feelings because I said, yo, you started talking about Jeezy. Talk that boy sold 20 some thousand. Boy, you stupid. I told you I did the math on that. That nigga was confused. He was confuzzled. Boy, I seen one of your whack videos you put up. Like, 
Let me go look at this shit again. <laughs> you know me. We shooting at everybody. Hey, get that little peanut head nigga out of here, man. The shit that I wanted to talk about, he ain't want to talk about. I don't, he ain't want to talk about. Boy, you had a whole video out with Big Sean and Hit Boy. It looked like it was a hot buzzer. You still ain't hit a half a million, dummy. Dummy. Nigga, I did a whole Zoom call. I did half your views in like 24 hours, and I was talking to King Von. Get your stupid ass out of here, man. You, you, you damn near twice my age just trash for no fucking reason. Yeah. 